We are into the worst financial crisis and geopolitical crisis, socioeconomic crisis in, in the history of, of the world. You know, I, I was 18 years old, I had a Beretta. You know, nobody in school would blow, uh, you know, a baby boom generation, first ones born in 1946, the 40, 50 kids in my class. Baby boom, I don't think you're allowed to say that one anymore either. Oh no. Yeah, they're doing that in the UK. Uh, and anyway, you know, there were no, you didn't go through a security, a metal detector. Yeah. You didn't have guards around. You're talking about the way we grew up. Yeah, yeah there were neighborhoods you didn't go into. They were tough. Yeah. But you didn't have to worry about every day, you know. Oh, oh, Starbucks just closed down, what, 11 places because of the people out of their minds? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look what's happened to society. Look at I mean, the clowns running our, our, our world. But who's your favorite president? Who's your favorite chancellor? Who's your favorite prime minister? You know, that what? great artist we have for the Trench Journal, Anthony Frieda, that does these covers. If I said to him, listen, Anthony, I want you to come up with a guy that we can make the biggest clown you could ever look at. I think it cost about $186,000 to educate a person. I shouldn't say educate him, to put into a government system from <laughs> kindergarten to, to, to the 12th grade. So now you're spending all that money, and what do they do? They get a job working at Walmart, getting a job driving a UPS or, or, or a Amazon truck. What do they do? They work at Home Depot. What do they, where do they, why did you send them to school all these years if this is the career they're going to have? It, 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 it's, they, they hated school probably. That's why they had the jobs there. I hated every day of school. I got left back in the fifth grade, ran away from kindergarten. <laughs> barely got out of high school <laughs> you know it, it 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 i'm just saying the system by their deeds you shall know them we're spending almost two hundred thousand dollars to educate somebody you didn't have to go to school to work at these jobs well that you know that's the the trends journals about we tell people what in the world is going on yeah. what it means what's next and what to do and of course the motto is think for yourself you don't have to do what we tell you to do but the mainstream, all it is, is it's, it's constant propaganda. And, and they never stop. And they're rookies. And by the way, I used to be on Oprah today, show Good Morning America, like you are, you're everywhere. You know what the deal is. I mean, you're working for the, you know, you're working for the corporation. Right. And they, they want you to say what they want you to say, and you gotta be in the game. So what you're getting is you're getting the system. And when right. it goes back to remember the main, you know, the Hearst newspaper with the, with the, with the, uh, with the um, Spanish-American War. Right. And you go back to the New York Times. You know, I said, I'm saying he has them aluminum tubes. Well, we were wrong, but we'll tell that after we, we told the, the, the propaganda. We are into the worst financial crisis and geopolitical crisis, socioeconomic crisis in, in the history of, of the world. And now with them raising interest rates, inflation continue to skyrocket. The, what the COVID war did is unprecedented. It's incalculable the damage it's done. It killed the lives and livelihoods of billions of people. Right. You mentioned about what's going on in Sri Lanka. How about exa exactly what you said? You know, it's the new world disorder. It's going on all over. Yep. When people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And they've lost everything. Look at all the businesses just in America that have gone out of business. What, a third of the dry cleaners? Gone. What's office occupancy rate? Eh, depending on what you look at in the metro areas, oh, it's around 40%. You mean it's 60% lower? Oh, no more happy hours. Oh, don't have to, uh, you know, again, go to the dry cleaners. I'm working from home now. Oh, oh, all the delicatessens, all of the businesses that used to depend on commuters. Well, you know, my father, may rest in peace, used to say to me when I get upset, he says, son, take it easy, easy. He said, people have little minds. You know, yeah, everybody knows their favorite baseball team, all the players, you know, every team, everything about them. You know, I love that when I was a young guy. But you know, you, you grow out of that and start putting your mind in another direction and they're not doing it. Yeah, I mean, again, they're listening to the mainstream, they get sound, they live by sound bites. 
they're not they're not doing the research to find out the details of what's going on. And you talked about the Chinese communists. How about bringing China into the World Trade Organization <laughs> by Bill Clinton? Oh, and they came in two two weeks after officially after 9-11 when nobody was looking. And you look at China's GDP, like from 1970, and then 2001, a straight line up. Oh, and all our jobs that went over the, to communist China. Oh, the communist China that we used to make fun of where the people wore masks and they could lock down anything they wanted to do and and tell you what to do. Oh, and we're going to follow that path. I'm the I'm the mayor, I'm the governor, I'm the senator. We're going to lock you down. The Chinese way, you must obey. Welcome to America. Well, you know, the big issue is inflation. And um, again, the economy was artificially injected with all this monetary methadone to keep the money junkies high. The, the, everything should have crashed in 2020 when they locked down most of the right. country and most of the world. Right. And it's just artificially boosted up with record low interest rates and countless, countless trillions of dollars pumped in by the government. And now with inflation, and they kept you know lying about it or being stupid, whatever you want to decide. First, it was temporary, and then it was transitory. They lied about it. You're, you're looking at the EU with what, 8.6% in inflation rate and negative interest rates minus a, a, a 0.50? And, and, and the United States, where you have uh, the inflation rate just came in at 9.1, and, and it was temporary and transitory. So they're going to keep raising rates. The higher rates go, the deeper the economy goes, the deeper the markets go. End of story. And you're looking what happened in over in Canada. Uh, recently, they just raised rates 1%. It's a freak show. We have mentally ill people running and ruining our lives. This is the Trends Journal from 2014. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former Assistant Treasury Secretary under Reagan, wrote in detail America's coup of the democratically elected government of Yanukovych, the Ukrainian president. So again, there's a lot of sides to this story. So I understand the why, but I'm totally against the, 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 the how it happened. So having said that, only looking at the facts, once upon a time, there was a guy by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. He left Poland with 420,000 troops to attack Moscow, came back with 10,000. There's a famous chart of it. And then once upon a time, not too long ago, there was somebody by the name of Adolf Hitler who launched Operation Barbarossa and killed between 25 million and 30 million Russians. And they were the first ones to defeat Germany, Eastern Germany. That's the one they came in. That's why they took it over. So we don't see them losing. And the only thing that by sending more weapons is it's going to make a bad situation very worse because what they keep saying is Russia keeps taking over more territory and now they're up to almost 25% of Ukraine, is that they say, well, you know, we just pulled back. This was a strategic move. You know, I've, I've heard these stories before. So a country of 40 million isn't going to beat a country of 140 million with one of the most advanced militaries, by the way, that they don't talk about weaponry in the world. They're hypersonic. We're not.